Hey guys, this is Eric. I'm um, here to give you all a tutorial on how to make this little ghost hood effect on your car in Photoshop. And um, posted my pictures the other day of my car. And um, some people had asked me how to uh, make this cool little effect. So that's what I'll be showing you all today. Uh, there's um, several methods to do this. And um, the one that I'll be showing you all today is probably this one. Simplest and quickest. So uh, first thing you want to do is open Oops, not Dreamweaver, Photoshop. Uh, and uh, we're going to need to open two uh, pictures of your car, or um, a picture of your car that you're going to want to um, make the ghost head effect on. And mine are this one. One. So we open those, and um, they should be almost identical in um, size and where you took the picture from, and at the same angle. So that way, um, when you place the the engine bay on the um, the other one, it'll almost be the same. So this one's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to reduce the size to about 2450. use our little um, magic lasso tool, or whatever it's called. I don't know, that's what I call it, magic lasso tool. So, um, we use that to cut out our engine bay, like so. Uh, kind of sloppy, but it works. And after this, um, if you want to, you can go to refine edge, so that way it won't be, you know, that choppy and just um, play with the feathering and um, contrast and stuff. So set this to set this to point five. That should be should be enough. Press OK. Make the changes to that. Con um, copy this layer with Control C. Control V to paste it on your um, on the on the picture with your um, with your hood closed, and um, just kind of place it where the engine bay would actually be if if it were you know the picture with the hood popped um, somewhere around there. That's probably right. And um, now we just need to lower the opacity a bit. I think I set mine to around 55. Well, that's probably 50. Yeah, I was probably around 50, but we'll set this one to we'll set this one to 60. Um, now to blend, like sort of blend it in, um, I just use the erase tool, uh, select that layer, and just kind of erase the sides a little bit too much, but just so it can blend in a little bit, gives it a nice little effect, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it, um, beyond that, it's whatever you want to do. some little glitches with Camtasia and Photoshop being open at the same time so I can't merge them. Um, I can't even right click when I'm in Photoshop with Camtasia but uh, beyond this you can um, merge the two layers and then um, use effect on it. You know I can probably do that. Uh, so adjustments, uh, shadows and highlights. Uh, so I usually like to set shadows to zero Use a lot of use a lot of highlights, but not too much. And 40 should be fine. Go back to image adjustments and brightness and contrast. Uh, I, used to, I, I like to use a lot of contrast as well. Um, 70 is fine. Looks pretty good. Oh. 
kind of brighten it too much. Now it's now the, now our fading has gone away. So you kind of that's why you have to merge them before you do all these because then it will um, affect your uh, your shading and stuff that you did on on the actual engine bay. So uh, just play around with that and um, get it to where uh, you like it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just post in this thread that I post this in or uh, private message me.